Hi everybody, welcome to Ask Dara. This week my question was, what's the difference between fast and slow absorbing carbs and when should I eat either one? So basically that's going to be the difference between, because we're going to talk about clean carbs, so I'm not even talking at all about like processed sugars and things like that, which are obviously fast absorbing carbs. We're going to talk about real food. So real food being most things that are going to be carbs that are starchy based. So sweet potatoes, oats, most kinds of grains, um, rice and things like that. Those are going to be slower absorbing because those have more fiber to them. So basically what that means is it's going to stay uh, in your digestive system for longer. It takes your body longer to process. And on the flip side, fast absorbing carbs are going to most often be things like fruit, um, something that is absorbed into blood sugar and digested very quickly. So typically it has a, a lower fiber count. So that's not to say one or the other of those is better because obviously we both know that fruit is good for us and same with uh, with potatoes and rice and things like that. So the difference between the fast and slow absorbing carbs is just how long it spends in your digestive system and that's important in relation to when you're going to work out. And that's really the only difference, the only thing that you really should concern yourself with. And not even for some magical reason that it's going to make you work out better or make you gain more muscle or, or lose more body fat or anything like that. I know there's a lot that's been said about having certain kinds of carbs around workouts at various times and you know, not eating carbs later in the day and all that kind of stuff. And basically in general, as long as you're eating the correct amounts of food within the day and you're active regularly and you're not and you're consistent with your diet you're going to see results and for the most part for most people those tiny minute differences you don't really need to concern yourself with that as much unless you've been given specific instructions by a coach or something like that for a specific goal but in general the only reason that I would say to differentiate between the fast absorbing carbs and the slow absorbing carbs is around your workout times so that being said, if you are only about an hour away from doing your workout, you don't want something that's going to be slowly digested because you don't want something in the digestive system when you start to work out. So that being said, you don't want to have you know your sandwich on whole wheat bread or whatever it is with brown rice or even your oatmeal in the morning. You don't want to have that less than an hour before you're going to work out because that's going to still be in the digestive system drawing blood flow when you start to work out. So what happens is if your digestive system is still working, you start to work out, the body shuttles away the blood from the digestive system and the stomach to the working muscles and the heart and things like that. So now you've got this partially digested food that's just sitting in your stomach and not being digested because the body has prioritized the heart and the blood because you're, you're active. So not only can that sometimes give people an upset stomach and make you feel slow and lethargic and just not good during your workout, but then once you finish your workout and your body resumes the digestion, you can have some digestive problems from that and just overall feel icky and it's not good. So that's the reason for wanting to avoid the slow digesting carbs too close to a workout when you would want slow digesting carbs is when you want to stay full. So slow digesting carbs and fats and protein, put those three together and you've got a meal that's really going to keep you full for a long time, which is important in a lot of instances if you need to you know, get through a long meeting or something like that where you're not going to have access to your food. You want things that are going to move more slowly through the, through the digestive system and keep you feeling fuller for longer. When it comes to fast absorbing carbs, so for the most part, things like fruit, um, those are the things that you would want to have closer to a workout. So if you're getting close to a workout and you have you know, a meal to eat and you know that you're going to need the energy from the meal before your workout, but it's something with slow digesting carbs and you're like, well, I know that I shouldn't have this for my workout, then you know, have a piece of fruit, something like that, to give you something in your blood sugar if you're less than an hour away from your workout. Um, other things that are uh, quick digesting and can give you a little hit of energy if you feel like you're lightheaded, a little bit of honey. Um, no, no sugar added fruit juices, so just a small amount, things like that if you need something that's going to be quickly into your system just before a workout. And that's purely 
to give your, give yourself some energy before a workout if you feel like you need it. Otherwise, just eating regularly throughout the day and trying to time your meal before your workout, if it has slow digesting carbs in it, about two hours before the workout to give the body time to, to digest it. Okay, so that's really kind of a little bit of a difference between slow and fast digesting carbs. The uh, only other point that I would make not about workouts with fast digesting carbs is with things like fruit, you don't necessarily want to just eat it on its own unless you're having it just before a workout. But if you're having it as just a snack in general, like I said, it's fast absorbing. So if you're like, oh, you know, you're hungry and you just have an apple, you're going to be hungry again very quickly because it's fast digesting. So if people are having fruit for a snack, just to kind of fill out the snack and make it a more complete meal, I usually suggest you, know, you add some healthy fats to it or some dairy, so some Greek yogurt, maybe some nuts, something like that, just to add to the fast digesting carbs to make it a snack that is going to last you a little bit longer and keep you fuller for longer. Okay, so that's a little bit of info on fast and slow digesting carbs. Go ahead and submit your questions for next week. I am gonna be away until Tuesday of next week, but I will try to post an Ask Dara on Wednesday or Thursday next week, so submit your questions. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you would like to see more of these types of videos. And have a great week, guys. Bye.